So, we will now be discussing how to sketch the graph of polynomial functions. Ito na yung pinakaihintay natin. Okay? So, before graphing, do not forget the following key concept. Sabi niya, the graph of polynomial function is continuous. When you say continuous in graphing, we can draw uh, the given graph, we can draw it without lifting our pen from the paper. So, ganyan pala mag-draw ng polynomial function. Hindi siya putol-putol. Dapat tuloy-tuloy. In which, kahit hindi mo iangat yung ball pen mo sa papel, madodrawing mo yon Okay? May sketch mo yon Next, the graph of a polynomial function is, is smooth. So, anong ibig sabihin, anong ibig sabihin ng smooth? This is, uh, uh, this is the description of smooth. Ganito ang itsura niya. Okay? Next, and the graph of polynomial function has no corner. So, kapag nag-graph ka, say you do it manually. Kasi, you have to sketch using graphing uh, paper eh. So, ang ipapas nyo sa akin, hindi yung print screen nung, nung ginawa nyo. Kung hindi yung, yung mismong drawing nyo. Okay? So, kapag nag-graph ka daw, dapat is smooth. Okay? Natuloy-tuloy. Pasensya na, nabigyan na, hindi ako nabigyan ng talento sa pag sketch din. So, ramdam ko kayo. At dapat is smooth daw yung graph. So, kailangan sundan natin yon At pagpasensyahan nyo na kung ang akin ay hindi masyadong smooth. But your graph should be smooth. Okay? Next, dapat pag nag-drawing ka, walang corner. corner. So, yan bawa ito yung point. Imbis na ito turn mo, linagyan mo ng corner. Kanong corner? Say so, corner. Okay? Meron siyang corner. So, ibig sabihin itong graph na to ay wrong, ito tama. Okay? The graph of a polynomial function must be smooth and it has no corners. It has also no cusps. Ang hirap big kasi yan. So, wala din daw siyang cusp. So, kung magdodrawing ka at meron siyang cusp, mali na yun. Okay? So, anong itsura ng cusp? Halimbawa, ganyan. Meron kang point dito, meron kang point doon, tapos meron kang point dito, meron kang point doon. So, dapat is smooth daw yung graph mo kung mag-graph ka. E kaso, nilagyan mo ng ganyan. So, alimbawa ito, ito, cusp na ito. So, ibig sabihin yung graph mo, mali na. Okay? Remember that the graph of a polynomial function is smooth and continuous. Okay? Now, I'll, I'll be showing you how to graph, uh, how to sketch the graph of polynomial function two ways. The first one is manually, and the second one is using a graphing application. Okay? Yung ipapakita ko sa inyo yung graphing calculator na GeoGebra. Ma'am, paano pag na-download ko Edesmos? Okay lang din, pareho lang naman ng function. Kaso, mas madaming function ang GeoGebra kesa sa Desmos na madaling i-access. Okay? Now, here's an example of a graphing application called graphing calculator GeoGebra. Ma'am, bakit hindi tayo pareho ng itsura? Kasi po yung gamit ko ay PC. So, magamit akong computer. Kaya ganyan ang itsura niya. Kapag inopen mo yan sa iyong cellphone, ganito ang itsura niya. The graph itself, itong graph na ito, nasa taas. Tapos itong function bar natin dito ay nasa baba. Okay? Itong ating uh, function bar dito, na nasa baba ng inyong cellphone, meron siyang tinatawag na, uh, meron siyang icon na calculator. Itong icon na calculator, dito mo i-input yung gusto mong sagutan. Okay? So, kapag in-input mo yan, pinindot mo yung input, may lalabas na calculator sa baba. Okay? etong calculator na ito, ito yung pipindot-pindutin mo para magkaroon ka ng input doon. Okay? Next, as you can see, my cursor na, na nagbiblink dito. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung, punto, ito yung point kung saan mo titignan yung ini-input mo. Okay? Next, Itong function na ito, hindi natin siya masyadong gagamitin kasi mag-graph lang naman tayo. Okay? Next, this one naman will show you the table of values. Bakit empty yan? Kasi wala pa tayong ginagawa. Mamaya papakita ko kung paano yung access yan. Okay? Next, punta tayo dun sa input. So, ito yung calculator. Yung problem natin kanina, i-graph natin yung y is equal to quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 2, times quantity x minus 1, times quantity x minus 3. Tama? So, pwede mong input yon. Hanapin mo yung y dito. So, ito yung y. Lagyan mo ng equals. sa yun yung equals. Yan. Kung makikita mo yung cursor, ayan. Ano? Next, maglagay ka ng parenthesis, ganyan ang lalabas din sa inyo sa mobile phone nyo. Parehong-pareho lang. Okay? 
Tapos, ang susunod is x plus 4. So, uh, in, uh, click x. Click uh, addition sign. Click 4. Okay? Kung makikita nyo yung cursor nyo nandoon, yung nagbiblink doon. So, ang next goal mo, dadagdagan mo yan. Pero dapat, itong cursor mo, i-move mo muna. Paano mo i-move yung cursor mo? Yung dito. Ibig sabihin nito, ang cursor mo ay papuntang kanan. Ito, papuntang kaliwa. Ayan, nakikita nyo siyang gumagalaw. So, papuntang kanan, papuntang kaliwa. Next, after ng x plus 4, lalagay mo naman yung x plus 2. So, x plus 2. And then, mag-add ka ulit. So, yung cursor mo, pindutin mo sa right. And then, x minus 3. x minus 3. Tapos, cursor ulit. Ma'am, paano pag di ko nilagyan ng cursor? Tingnan nyo mangyayari ha, pag hindi mo minove yung cursor mo. Ayan, papasok sa loob yung parenthesis. Okay? So, napaka-importante, o delete muna natin, ito delete, delete option. Napaka-importante na i-move mo muna yung cursor mo bago ka mag-input. Okay? Next, input mo naman yung X. Ay, andali. May nakalimutan ako dito na eh. Hindi ko nakalimutan ko idagdag yung X plus, X minus 1. Anyway, pwede rin naman siya sa dulo dahil this is in factored form. Pero since nandito siya, ilagay natin x minus 1. O, diba? Paano pag nakalimutan mo, isingit mo, pwede yon. Okay? Next, eto na. Napakabait ng calculator. Meron na tayong graph. Ano nga? Next, yung option dito, merong zoom out at saka zoom in. Ano this is zoom in, this is zoom out. Pag sinabi mo zoom in, palalakin mo. Pag sinabi mo zoom out, palilitin mo. Ngayon sa cellphone, wala yung option na zoom in at saka zoom out kasi uh, same with picture. Di ba pag sa picture, pag i-zoom zoom in mo, hihilain mo yung phone mo, idadrag mo. Okay? Pag naman i-zoom out mo, uh, yung opening ng hand mo is pa-close. Ano eh? Ay no alam niyo mag-zoom ng 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 picture. Kung paano i-zoom ang picture, ganun din i-zoom ang ang graphing uh, graphing app natin, no? Okay, next, say zoom out natin para makita natin buo yung graph. Ito. Okay? This is now the graph of the polynomial function y is equal to the quantity x plus 4 times x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Okay? Next, what if hindi mo na-solve yung kanyang tinatawag na table of values? Kasi tinamad ka na. Simple lang. Pindutin mo yung tatlong dots doon. May lalabas na options, table of values, special points, duplicate input, delete, and settings. Pindutin mo yung table of values, tapos maglagay ka ng value natin. Doon sa interval natin, nag-start tayo sa negative 5. Tapos nag-end yung interval natin sa positive at ang step natin, ikaw magsiset nito. Uh, kung gusto mo ba, by 5 yung step ng, uh, ng, iyong, ng iyong table of values or by 1 lang, pwede yun. So, okay. Ayan. So, binigyan ka na niya ng table of values. Ayan. Yun ang kagandahan ng paggamit ng graphing calculator. Ano eh? Next, remember, kapag nagpapas kayo ng activity sa, sa atin, kailangan pa rin na... Number one, you have to show your complete solution. Kasi kung hindi mo ipapractice yan, na ikaw lang mag-isa, mahirapan at mahirapan ka. Okay? Remember that technology is a helpful tool for us human to have an easy way on how to deal things. Okay? Mag-set lang sila ng guide kung paano mo susundan. Okay? Double check mo lang kung tama. Gamitin mo yung app. Okay? Next, sabi niya, when y is greater than 0, the value, uh, the point is above the x-axis. So, the point negative 5 and 144 must be above the x-axis. So, tignan natin kung nasa taas siya. Puto tayo dun sa 144. Ay, sorry, sorry. Nadrag siya masyado. So, 144. Yon. So, this is point. Pindutin mo lang yung point. Lalabas yung kanyang coordinate. So, this is point negative 5 and 144, and it is located above the x-axis. Next, negative 4 and 0, y is equal to 0. Therefore, the point negative 4 and 0 is called an x-intercept, uh, uh, these are the points of the x-intercept, 
Therefore, it is located on the x-axis. So, tignan natin if it is on the x-axis. Try natin. This is point, pag pinindot mo, negative 4 and 0. Correct. So, this is on the x-axis. Next, negative 3 and negative 24. Negative 24 is less than 0. Therefore, the graph is below the x-axis. Okay, below. So, saan yun? Negative 3 and, point negative 3 and negative 24 is below. So, ito yon. Okay? Ang kagandahan pa pala ng graphing calculator, it will give you the exact sketch of the graph. Ano? Pag naman nag-manual ka, pwede na yung uh, manual sketching natin is uh, uh, assumption of the real graph. Okay? Next. Basta alam mo lang kung saan siya papunta, okay na yon. Next, negative 2 and 0, this is negative 2 and 0 on the x-axis, uh, negative 1 and positive 24, 24 is greater than, so above. We have negative 2 and 0, okay na yon. so ito yon. negative 1 and 24 above, and then we have uh, negative 1 and 24, this is your x, uh, y-intercept, therefore it is located on the y-intercept, or should I say y-axis? So, 0 and 24 is located at the y-axis. Next, 1 and 0. 1 and 0, so it is located on the x-axis. 1 and 0. Negative 24, below. So, baba. Negative 24, below. And then, 3 and 0, on. 3 and 0 on. And then 4 and 144. 144 is greater than 0. So, above. Above. O yun. Ba doon? 144. So, that's how you use graphing application in graphing, uh, sketching the graph of polynomial function. Napakadali. Tama? Again, this graphing application will just be used as guide for you on how to easily sketch the graph of a polynomial function. So, kapag sa output nyo, print screen nyo ito, tapos pinakat nyo sa output nyo, hindi ko po i-consider yon. Ma'am, bakit? Kasi you have to practice first how to graph uh, the polynomial function manually para ma-experience nyo yung pag-graph. Pag ginamitan nyo na siya ng app, hindi ko na siya i-consider. Kasi, parang, parang, uh, technically, parang nag-cheat ka na eh. Sabi dun sa activity, kailangan you have to sketch the graph. Eh, kaso you sketch it using graphing calculator. So, so sundan natin yung process nung activity. Kailangan i-sketch mo it, i-sketch mo yung graph manually. Ano Okay? So, yun. That's how you use.